NFC tags can be tied to blockchain. Can you talk about what use cases that this is powering now and what type of use cases it could lead to in the future? Definitely, it's a, it's definitely a hot topic. I think a lot of a lot of brands surface level, Amanda, they look for uh, brand protection and authentication. And that's kind of how they see the assurance level um, that that is a foundational block. But really what blockchain adds is another layer, and I would say a more secure layer of everything that you're doing in the supply chain to be built into a digital ledger that essentially cannot be replicated. And as each copy of the blockchain makes its, um, goes through its cycles, you essentially can find any time that something was hindered and revert back to the previous version of that within the ledger of the blockchain. So we're seeing more and more brands, uh, the first use case really understanding the, the value of each node in the supply chain of their products moving through it. So from an NFC perspective, if they are actually tapping as it hits each node in the supply chain, that timestamp of when that product was produced, taking it back again to the soccer ball example, it was produced in this overseas manufacturing plant it ended up in this shop floor and it, this customer X purchased it. So each one of those timestamps in the supply chain essentially would validate that it was an authentic product produced and it went through all these cycles and this consumer now owns it. And if they ever resell it, this customer B essentially will, will, be, the, uh, will be the owner. Blockchain will take that information, put it within a ledger. So you have a second level of assurance that essentially will trump every other node that you've you've put into the uh to the brand protection aspects of it now we're also seeing outside of this example of, of supply chain and consumer assurance a lot working right now through nfts non-fungible tokens so we're seeing more products now we're talking about physical products with a digital identity but now physical products truly going digital and people purchasing that digital component and then creating it as a token that is foundationally found on the blockchain so we're seeing more and more of that right now in, in the format of NFC tags that could provide that assurance and then you could revert back essentially as a non-fungible token. So blockchain is picking up. I think um, a lot of the consumer experience providers out there also are picking up the adoption that it, it is great to put another layer of protection behind it with blockchain and give that assurance. And especially when you get into luxury brands or uh, higher ticket items, uh, it's always good to have a second foundational component of, of um, authentication for that brand and, and blockchain really hits home for that. Is it true that the, the NFC tag is kind of that bridge between the physical item and, and the blockchain or an NFT it, or it that is. digital side? And, and that's what's really exciting right now because that, that really acts as the true catalyst of the digital trigger to give you that ultimate de facto experience. That's so cool. Because listen, I think we talk about these things in two separate worlds, right? You have the blockchain and NFTs, and we're all so excited about that. But you're like, how does it become a part of my life? You know, offside, outside of a screen? Uh -huh. NFCs, uh, to bridge that and bring it to the physical world, I think that's where it's going to become real. Like, super cool to, to understand this. And a lot of a lot of really interesting use cases that build on top of this. So you can you can take that model that you just outlined, Paul, but then you can take it a level further and actually create um, basically a VR uh, behind it, so that once you engage, you can actually launch your camera and then get a, a digital format of whatever it is that that's been digitized and then drop it in your home. So this has been a prominent use case around footwear right now, making a digital component of that luxury Air Force Jordan you know, sneaker, or it could be a specific artwork. So we're seeing some more use cases around that. So then someone could take a digital piece of art, throw it on their wall, take a picture, and then share it on social media. But they truly own the rights of that digital uh, piece of art. So it's, it's pretty interesting.